Jalan. Yo, 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 Michael T. Porter here. Welcome to Rooted in Music TV, where everything that we talk about, everything that we discuss is rooted in music. I got another bomb episode for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I am dropping. Also, if you would like to support your independent artist, because I'm not trying to go to the majors, because I want to, I don't want to be fondled by uh, the diddlers. Cash app, dollar sign, Michael U.S. Music lovers. We are in for a treat. Jay-Z and Beyonce shut down the rumors on Pierce Morgan's show. His show is called Pierce Morgan Uncensored, and Jay-Z and Beyonce censored his ass. What you think about that? What you think about that? They censored his ass. Got the lawyers on Pierce Morgan. They called their lawyers. Jay-Z and Beyonce called their lawyers, and their lawyers contacted uh, Pierce Morgan's organization and said, take that shit off. Cut out that damn clip. Those allegations are false. Let's get a jump roll. Let's jump into this. Jump into this thing. Drum roll. Please. Look at this mess right here. It's only a minute. Bear with me. Get some HD. High death for my fans, goddammit. High death. The shocking allegations leveled at Sean Diddy Combs have burst the floodgates on salacious claims about an industry many people believe harbored a monster. Understandably, the internet's ablaze with claims these events and whether other powerful figures were involved too. Well, last week I interviewed Jaguar Wright, a songwriter who's made claims about Diddy for years. Those claims had already received a lot of attention in the media across many platforms for many years. And that's the thing about forms. The relevant of the modern world is that pretty much one is a platform as long as they have something to say that other people want to hear. That's why we invite her on to be interviewed. The people making these claims have an audience with or without shows like mine. Well, Jack, you were right, unexpectedly made several serious allegations about Jay-Z and Beyonce during that interview. As I said in the moment, they were not present to respond or defend themselves, but now they have. Their lawyers contacted us to say that those claims were totally false and have no basis in fact. And we've therefore complied with the legal request to cut them from the original interview. Editing, editing interviews is not something we do lightly at a show called Uncensored. Uh, but proverbial cries of fire in a crowd theatre, there are legal limits on us too. And we apologise to Jay-Z and Beyonce. What? Did y'all hear that? They got that boy crying to his mama. This is a uh, Jaguar rights right here she needs to lose a couple pounds she needs to this is the woman going around talking about jay-z and and uh, all these industry folks would y'all like my opinion would y'all like some of this rooted in music tv commentary well of course you do that's why your ass is here why are you just not saying it now if you saw this horrific things go on why now Now, I heard that she been doing it. I heard she been trying to expose, but nobody was listening to her. A lot of people have been trying to expose Hollywood and the music industry, but nobody was listening to them. Nobody listening, y'all. Nobody listening. Nobody would lend an ear. There's a NBCnews.com. See even see any new lodge against claims. So it's pretty much saying what he said in the video. The downfall of the bad boy records. The founder has garnered intense scrutiny as other celebrities and industry associates come forward with accusations of sexual assault and misconduct. Speculation swirls around prominent figures who may have been involved or were aware of Combs' alleged behavior. And Jaguar Wright is saying it in her interview with Morgan Wright referred to both Com re referred to both Combs and Jay Z as monsters. Morgan asked her why she believes Jay Z has been notable for his silence about the charges against Combs, and she accused Jay Z of forcing everyone involved to carry water while he sneaks away without a response. Wright further criticized Jay Z and Beyonce as nasty 
and asserted they asserted that they have kept people against their will. On Tuesday, Morgan said on his show that Jay Z and Beyonce were not present during the interview with Wright to defend themselves, as I said in the moment. So that's what she said. They're monsters. Her and Jay Z are into swinging. Her and Jay Z are into all kind of freaky stuff. All kind of freaky stuff. My opinion that they all, everybody's cut through. All the industries are cut through. If you're gonna go after the music industry, if you're gonna go after Hollywood. They all work together with big corporations because the NFL, the NBA. Well, Nike is what. NFL, NBA, all the sports, Coca-Cola, all the sports, Gatorade, they're all in this together. It's one big conglomerate, it's one big uh, 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 collage of power. So it ain't just Hollywood. It ain't just the music industry. The music, the executives at your job, at the banks, everybody nasty. Everybody, this is how a lot of nations were destroyed in the Bible through sex. Everybody wants sex. It's just not enough. It's a drug that's stronger than cocaine. Sex is stronger than heroin because we're designed to do it. We ain't designed to play with fentanyl and coke and crack and mushroom, even marijuana. We ain't meant to smoke it all day. But sex, we're designed to have sex. It's in our DNA. It's in our. It's embedded in our nervous system, our muscle system, our hormones, our organs. We're designed to do this thing. It's so strong, so strong. But we got to have restraint. But a lot of these people at the top don't have any restraint, any regard for anybody. Uh, allegations of Jay-Z and Rihanna. They went to that island. They took their uh, million-dollar jets out to the island in Barbados. Why the hell? How the hell did you even find this girl in the middle of Barbados? They said they heard her demo. Now, she's, now if they said they sent her a demo, but there's millions of people sending the demo. What makes Rihanna so special? When millions of people are sending demos to Jay-Z because they were already out there on the island. That's the word on the screen. They were already out there on the island doing what they doing, buying up little, buying up young ladies, underage ladies. And she just so happened to be underage and she'd be talented and she is talented and it goes on from there. They were already on the island. Somehow, I still don't understand, even if they were out there buying underage girls, uh, how did they find her though? How did they find her? I think it was just luck. I think they're about to purchase her, but they found out that she can sing. You understand what I'm saying? So everybody and all these, the world is ran by Satan. So Babylon the Great, you know, you, you got all the politicians too. Lock, lock Tim Wall's ass up. This nigga talking about putting tampons in the boys' restroom. They're encouraging children, uh, transgender, transgenderism. They're encouraging this lifestyle with our children. They're saying if our little boys feel like they want to be girls, it's acceptable and vice versa. If little girls want to feel like they're, you know, they want to identify as boys is acceptable. Now they're passing it into law. So don't just stop with Diddy. Don't just stop with Jay-Z. Don't just stop with Beyonce and R. Kelly. Get them all. Get them all. But y'all flood my comment. What do y'all think about Jay-Z and Beyonce shutting down Pierce Morgan, forcing that nigga to edit his interview with Jaguar Wright? 250 capital G rooted in music TV. I'm gone.